Marie Jean Phillips, presented by Whitney Duncanson, Megan Hermanson, and TJ Gray. Marie Phillips was born on April 20th, 1953, in Worcester, Massachusetts. Both her mother and father were deaf. Marie was the firstborn child, and they did not expect her to be deaf. Her parents both attended oral schools. Marie's mother was 18 years old when she met Marie's father, and she did not know any sign language. Her father knew how to sign because he communicated with deaf friends who used sign language. Around 11 months old, Marie was sleeping, and her mother accidentally dropped a drawer of clothes. Marie did not wake up. She suddenly realized that something was wrong. She decided to test her hearing, so she used pot and an alarm clock. The mother saw that at times, she would respond with her right ear, but nothing with her left ear. When her parents found out she was deaf, they sent her to Clark School for the Deaf, which was an oral school. When Marie was four and a half, they sent her to the school for some testing. She forgot that it was an oral school and began signing the word dead. The school rejected her because one, she signed, two, she could see her spell, and three, she was underage. After being rejected from the Clark School for the Deaf, her parents decided to send her to the American School for the Deaf in West Hartford, Connecticut. After a week of being there, she came home talking and signing away. She was even correcting her parents. Her parents decided to keep her there and also sent her deaf sisters as well. After graduating high school, Marie entered into Gallaudet University where she majored in psychology. While during her junior year, she decided to apply for an exchange program with Oberlin College. While waiting to be accepted, she was asked many times as to why she wanted to go to a hearing school and be around hearing people. She said she wanted to see what the other side was like because all she knew was the deaf world. Marie was one of two students chosen that year for the exchange program. It was Marie's senior year when she returned to Gallaudet when she realized that psychology wasn't her passion, so she quit school at that time but later returned to finish her bachelor's degree. In 1984, Marie graduated from Northeastern University in Linguistics and started teaching ASL at Northeastern University. However, her career at Northeastern didn't start there, it started much earlier. It was 1975 when she was looking for a job and she found a job in advertising at Northeastern University. The job posting was specifically looking for a research assistant who was an ASL user. She took the job and at that point she started teaching ASL and promoting ASL as a real language. This is when she realized she enjoyed teaching ASL to her coworkers and students. And because of her interest in teaching ASL, she went on to teach deaf culture, history, and ASL literature for 11 years. In 1985, the Learning Center for Deaf Children in Framingham, Massachusetts was able to convince Marie Phillips to begin a new career as special assistant to the director for implementation of bilingual bicultural policies. This was in addition to her teaching position at Northeastern University. That same year, she was influential in establishing the Massachusetts Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Marie accepted the full-time position of bilingual bicultural coordinator in 1988 after two years of being a special assistant to the Director for Implementation of Bicultural Bilingual Policies. She also served as the Bilingual Bicultural Consultant to the Delaware School for the Deaf from 1994 to 1997. During this time, she was also pursuing her Master's Degree in Deaf Education, leading to a Ph.D. at Boston University. September 2, 1997, Marie Jean Phillip died unexpectedly due to blood clots that lodged in her lungs. Marie Phillips' untimely death was not the end of this perfect pioneer's name or work. Northeastern University created the National Marie Jean Phillip ASL Poetry, ASL Storytelling, and Deaf Art Competition in 1997.
The primary goal of this competition is to create a fitting tribute to honor the memory of a tireless advocate of deaf children. Marie's death was an overwhelming loss to her family, to the Learning Center for the Deaf, and to the worldwide deaf community. The Learning Center couldn't think of a better way to honor this woman who loved children and education than to name their new elementary school the Marie Jean Philip Elementary School. The dedication ceremony was held on May 30, 2002. Governor Jane Swift shared remarks which emphasized Marie's leadership and the importance of both passion and education in pursuing our dreams. One of Marie Jean Phillips' favorite proverbs, go to the people, live among them, learn from them, love them, start with what they know, build from what they have, but of the best leaders, when the task is accomplished, their work is done. The people remark, we have done it ourselves.